All right, everybody. Welcome back. This is the first time you have seen me from this angle today. Uh, reason being, I have been all over this freaking river looking for fish. We are here at the Salt River in Arizona. I've been kind of motivated to get out and look for some trout. So we were just throwing a little Panther Martin spinner and we did get a follow right under this little undercut right here. You guys will see it from my angle in a second. That being said, let's get our salmon eggs down there. See if we can catch a fish. Here's the little undercut I was just mentioning. See if we can pick up that fish. That'd be crazy. All right, guys, this day was really, really rough for me. This was only my second time fishing the Salt River. I put in a lot of miles, a lot of time uh, searching for fish, and I would just was not successful the first part of the day. However, the day before I was out here doing the same thing, and this also took me about an hour and a half, uh, but we did end up finding one fish this day. So we're gonna show you guys this catch, and then we'll get back to our present day fishing. Here we go. Come on, man. I need some fish. definitely a bite fish on oh my gosh we got one we got one oh my goodness finally got one it's definitely a trout too <laughs> let's go guys please stay on he's pulling in that current right there he is pulling finally man we drifted the salmon eggs and we got this guy oh he's pulling now he's trying to pull jeez Ooh, pretty decent one. Pretty decent one. Beautiful looking fish. I think that'll be the one, depending on how he's hooked, that we keep. Nice little footer, man. <laughs> he will let this one go. All right. This is my first Salt River rainbow trout. There he is. Beautiful looking fish. Not a bad fish. I'm happy we finally, finally caught the skunk off so unfortunately that fish was the only one we caught this day but let's flash back to our present day right here when we finally did find some fish put on a worm i am seeing signs of fish here I got one. I got one. Oh my goodness. I was in disbelief. I don't know if it's a trout or if it's a bass. I think it's a trout. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Oh yeah, nice one. Really nice one. Oh, that is a nice fish. I've been working all day. <laughs> this one might be kept here. If I can land him, that is. Oh wow, nice one. Nice fish. Wow, that is a nice one. He was barely on there, guys. Barely on there. Wow. All right, I think it's time to set up the big camera. I think it's time. You guys are seeing this after I have walked a few miles on this river here. We finally got a really, really nice rainbow here. Wow, look at that fish. Insane. I'm hoping that we found a pattern here. There are some more fish swimming around. So I'm about to get some more bait on to see if we can catch some more. We are going to harvest this one. This is a day where I am going to keep some for the table. They do stock the salt river here for put and take. So today we're gonna harvest some fish. Next time we'll probably let them go. Four pound test. We have a bobber on here. We got a night crawler. Little split shot. Let's see if we can get another one before a battery dies here. I don't know. I have to find out. I was in disbelief. Oh, bobber down. We got stuck on something that time. It's kind of. Oh, that's a fish. We got another one, guys. 
Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. All day. We have been chasing these. All day. Oh, it's a little baby. <laughs> Look at him jump. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, we may let this one go. He's pretty small. All right, there's number two right there, guys. Salt River, Arizona. We are catching rainbows. Let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. I think he's gonna be just fine. Full night crawlers is what we're using. We are drifting them. We'll see if we can go for one more and then throw on the camera rod. I did bring the camera rod. That is exactly what we did, guys. We got this camera rod out here. Now, I only made one cast with it just because I didn't want to spook the fish, but look at all these fish. To the untrained eye, these may look like trout, but these are actually sucker fish. You can tell by the circular fins here, and uh, their bodies are a little bit wider uh, than trout, but look at all this grass. This, this river is loaded with grass like this. There goes another one right there. Now, I believe most of these fish are sucker fish here. Um, they're is one trout at the end of this clip that I will show you the differences in uh, what you see. But if you guys think any of these are trout, you can watch this back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But I am going to say that most of these fish are sucker fish. There's a couple different species in this river, so definitely could be any of those. Here passing through some more grass. We'll see some more fish right on the bottom. Crystal clear water, though. Crystal clear. See all these fish down towards the bottom. Here comes the trout right here. You'll see them kind of rise up. And I'm gonna show that again, slow down. You can see the white inside his mouth. A Little bit more slender body. If you really zoom in, you can see the spots on his body. Also see the white tipped fins. Uh, but after this, this was the only cast we made with the underwater camera. Maybe next time we'll do a full video on it. After that fish, we ended up moving spots because there was no more action for us. All right, spot number two. This is actually spot number like 20, but probably the last one we're going to fish today. We are running out of time, so. I'm going to walk in a little. Guys, I haven't been this focused to catch fish in a long time. Throw it out there and let it drift. Peck, peck. Got him. Fish on. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh, looks like a large mouth. Looks like a large mouth. I kind of figured we'd catch at least one of these. Surprised it didn't happen sooner, but there's a, a typical Salt River largey right there. That is going to conclude my first Salt River adventure. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It was really fun uh, putting in the time and effort to catch these fish. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next video.